Zachary Green. I'm the president and illuminating genius at m and Products. Today we're going to talk about the Foxfire Do-It-Yourself Illumination Kit and take you through step-by-step -step everything that needs to be done to properly illuminate your tools and any other items that you'd like to use our kits for. What we have here is an open box of the Foxfire Illumination Kit. We've broken it into nine simple steps. The first step is the sand step. And what you're going to do is take the included Scotch-Brite pad and rough up the surface that you're going to be coating. The roughing up the surface is meant to remove any residue, any type of loose paint, any rust, and also to create a nice rough surface so that you can have proper bonding. Step number two is the wipe phase. You're going to take one of the included alcohol pads that are in the box and you're going to go ahead and clean up any residue that was left over from the sanding process. The next step at this point in time is going to be the masking process. Using any type of masking tape, duct tape, or even paper, you're going to want to mask off the areas that you don't want the illumination coating to cover. The next phase is the prime phase. The first thing you want to do before you start using the included primer is go ahead and give it a nice stir to make sure that it's evenly, it's got even consistency and it's been properly mixed. By using the white primer, you're not using the primer as a bonding agent, but merely as an opportunity to allow all that light to hit that white background, bounce back out, and give you the maximum amount of activation of the photoluminescent crystals. And then when it glows, all that glow is going to hit that white and bounce back out so it can be very, it can be easily seen. We've now completed the prime phase and we're moving on to the applied phase. Use the enclosed tongue depressor to make sure that you've scraped out every bit of epoxy out of the smaller jar and put it into the larger jar. Go ahead and use the mixing wand, put it into a power drill, and slowly start to mix the two components together. Be sure to make sure you've got all the epoxy off the side so you've got a nice, good, even consistency. Two to three minutes at a slow speed is all you need. Be careful you don't mix it too fast or you may splash the epoxy outside of the container. At this point in time we're going to apply the illuminating epoxy mixture that we've just mixed up using one of the paintbrushes that's in the kit. Once you mix the two components together the clock's going to start ticking. You have approximately a half hour to use the epoxy before it starts to solidify on you. Let gravity work for you. Use your paintbrush not necessarily to paint the product on, but use the paintbrush to apply it and then use the brushing action to go ahead and pull those runs down the tool. Use your paintbrush to smooth out the surface rather than simply using it to paint multiple layers like you would with typical paint. This product cures, it doesn't dry, so no matter how thick you put it on, it's going to eventually harden and dry for you. Use that paintbrush again to smooth that surface out to the best of your ability and get rid of those drips. One coat is all that's necessary, but two coats always will look better than one coat. That second coat will give you a more protective finish, it will also increase the glow levels, and will also fill in some of those drips that are inevitable. The more you use this product, the better you're going to get at it. It's going to look more and more professional and you'll be able to coat multiple tools where at the beginning you may only be able to coat one tool and it may not look that great. It's always important to have one person at your department use this system rather than having every shift taking their turns with it. The last phase is the sprinkle phase and this phase is completely optional. We've included some aluminum oxide gripping surface that can be sprinkled onto any surface that have been coated with the illumination system that you want to get some added grip to. There's two ways of applying this product. You can either go ahead and sprinkle it on the wet tool or the second option is to mix it actually into the epoxy itself and paint it on at the very last step. So there you have it, the Foxfire Illumination Coating System. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and share with us ways that you're able to use Foxfire Illumination in making your firefighters safer in the environments they operate in. If we use one of your stores or testimonials, we'll be sure to include a free gift.